and welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look chosen one they want to be in your energy bad and this is not what you think <laughs> this is not what you think you got someone or some people who really want to be in your energy it's like you're this mysterious person walking this earth looking different from everyone around you speaking differently from everyone around around you dressing differently from everyone around you it's like you you have that i don't care i'm me type of attitude you got that i don't care i'm me i'm gonna be me i'm gonna do me like but it took you it took you a while to get here i'm not gonna lie but people see you and it's really a um it's really like a mystery when it comes to you. People are trying to figure you out. Like, people are trying to figure out, like, who are you? Because you must be someone important, for real, for real. This is why sometimes you got some people treating you like you're a celebrity or um, they just feel your importance. Like, they understand. Like, energy is, energy really is felt. And your presence is really felt. Like, when you're around your energy affects people differently than the average person's energy. So this is why you have some people who want to be around you bad. And you may find them like just walking up on you, um, but in your conversation or staring at you from afar, staring at you like um, really admiring you, giving you compliments, like um, doing things for you like just really being there for you really doing things for you giving you stuff for free like these people want to be in your energy in a good way though it's nothing wrong with it they want to be in your energy because it feels good it feels good to be around you it feels good to interact with you um I mean, it's nice to even just look at you. <laughs> if I had to be honest, it's nice to even just look at you. And when you're around people, this is why people gravitate towards you. This is why you have um, strangers who, they just want to conversate with you. Like, y'all sit there and have a 30 minute conversation and it be like on some deeper type stuff. Like, it be on some stuff and you like, wow, this person isn't a bad person. Like, it's some people who you just can't conversate. It's some people whose energy is just off and you'd rather not be around. But you got some people who want to be in your energy because they're attracted to your energy. They're attracted to your energy. Your energy is very attractive. It's darn near as attractive as you, if I had to be honest. But, <laughs> um, like, your presence is really felt. And this is why people want to be in your energy they see you and they they really want to figure you out they really want to figure you out because you're different and you're like like you're like you like the little white duckling like you the black sheep like it's very noticeable as well like you may find yourself trying to um fit in and whatnot like not to stand out but at the same time you want to be you so when you're you wholeheartedly like you have no choice but to stand out like you standing out regardless but when you deep within you like you on a soul level people be all up on you like people be all over you like you start to attract exactly who you are and this is why people be doing stuff for you giving you stuff for free like yesterday i got i don't i got two things for free back to back like they like no go ahead you you got it like here i'll do this for you and i'm just like well like you didn't have to like i i'm willing to pay my fare any day i'm willing to do whatever it takes if i want it like i'm not the type to stop, try to swindle anybody and that's the that's the thing like you're pure hearted like you're you're wonderful you're an amazing person like yes you got growing to do yes you you know can catch your attitude yes you can be negative but the fact that you're aware the fact that you strive to do better 
the fact that you're doing something different like the fact that you are a leader like you really are whether you see it or not whether you know it or not like people are really watching you and they are inspired by you they are inspired by you you're a leader like people see you and they say like wow that's what I want to do. Wow. That's how I would like to be. Wow. How can I get like that? This is why people want to be in your energy because you're very different. And the type of things, um, like you be on some different stuff, but you already know that. I tell you this all the time. I tell you this all the time. You be on some different type of stuff and it be like, ain't nobody really on that. Like, and even when it comes down to your vibrations, your vibrations vibe on a whole nother level that makes people want to be in your energy. They want to be around you. They're going to find any reason to come and say something to you. Like, they're going to find any reason to say something to you. You might be just like walking. You might be at a festival or something and the people are just like, they see you and their eyes light up and they smile and they want to talk and they want to chat and then they might see you again it's the same energy but then you look around and you like i don't think they're giving everybody that type of treatment i don't think they're doing that for everybody i don't think they're going out and getting that for other people like that i don't think they like that with everybody else it's because your energy is very bright it's very bright and it's like with all of this darkness in this world your energy really stands out. It really stands out. And like I said, it's not like I'm not trying I'm not saying that you are like the most positive person ever and that you don't argue with people or that you don't but the point is you stay striving to be better. You stay striving to be better and people see that. People see that. It's like you always doing something different. It's always something new with you. You stay like on the move, but at the same time, you're very still. At the same time, you know how to be still. It's very inspiring. It's like, how do you do it? Like you be out here doing what some people see as the impossible. Some people see the type of things that you do as the impossible, but you do it and you make it look like it's just real easy. Like you make it look real easy. You do it with ease you do it with ease but that's because you're not afraid to fail that's because you're not afraid to start over that's because you're not afraid to go out and get what you want you're not afraid to say what it is that you feel people want to be in your energy because it's very vibrant it's very vibrant your voice let off a vibration that trickles people it triggers people and it makes them do the shimmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your voice triggers people and it makes them do the shimmy. Like, and I love that for you. I'm, I, if, if I just had to be honest, I really love that for you. Like, because it ain't many people like you. Chosen one. Like, it ain't many of us. It's really not. But we see them because guess what? We read energy just fine. Like you read energy so well, you can tell when people is vibing high. You could tell when the energy in the room, like I was at a festival. Um, shoot, where was that festival at? I wanna say, it was in Tennessee, Juneteenth Festival. The vibrations were so high, but then you may go somewhere else and it's like, you feel the negativity like you feel the shift in the room you feel the like bad vibes and then you look at people and it's just confirmation like people want to be in your energy because they recognize how powerful you are they recognize how how much um dang i, I forgot what i was about to say but people really they see you they see you like you don't go unnoticed nowhere no time you might try to hurry up and dip through it and it's like no you're gonna be seen you're gonna be heard you're gonna be felt 
and it ain't no way around it because it's who you are you are a chosen one. Oh shoot hold on hold on y'all oh, shoot something biting me like dang nature is nature is beautiful nature is wonderful ah oh, but i do not like bugs i just have to be honest i do not like bugs the bugs is the worst part the bugs was the worst part that was just like some little yellow spider biting the crap out of me ouch look i'm about to end it right here if this video resonate if it hit different uh let me know how so if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button if you've been rocking with me i do invite you to become a member on this channel that's all i have for this video stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tune and i'll see y'all on the next one peace